perhaps a bit of revenge on the minds of the Glasgow Warriors squad back in North East Italy looking to bounce back after the international break against the Benetton side intent on recapturing their form they opened the campaign with two good wins but they haven't triumphed since that one point win here against Edinburgh came in dramatic circumstances that's a fine take and chip on from the fullback Rhino Smith what a start this is for Benetton unbelievable 35 seconds on the clock and already the first try has been scored and just look at this for a counter-attack Andrew Trimble yeah it didn't look like the exit was too inaccurate the kick slightly long really uh, Rufus McLean just didn't get up there just didn't can compete and didn't shut it down uh, yeah that's pretty dangerous uh, Rhino Smith just gets a little bit of space and then just exploits it and he's very very clinical lovely chip over at full pace nice dive as well just closing for the camera first back to lead Glasgow Warriors for over four years Ryan Wilson away taken on as George Turner flings it out to Pilotu and it does come to Rufus McLean but the knock-on will halt it's all about us and our entertainment Fine. Warriors looking to make their mark from five meters out here goes Dempsey well tackled by Duvanaka who was certainly Matt Fagerson on his shoulder. Now Ollie Kebble. Turner again. They're all having a go. Rory Darge gets his hands on the ball. But will be halted by the South African referee. Will go back for the penalty to Glasgow. Well, we got excited there. We started talking about entertaining rugby, and then we saw eight pick and goes in a row. And they're going to start as they mean to continue as Turner gets it off, and there is the response from Glasgow going over. It's Cole Forbes. You guys can't pre ledge, you can't pre bind on the ball. Bind. Safe. Pick up by Dempsey who goes again and now on to Johnson. Um, both teams just sizing each other up a little bit. I'm not sure whether to, to run or kick kind of um, they'll find they'll find a groove each I'm sure in the next five minutes. He's not going for it, it's at the back, use it! Halafi leaves it for Duvanaka. <laughs> was up high as well he's hurt himself in the process gray gets it away nice, no hanging on and just needlessly just lets benetton into this game gets, gives them an access point so benetton backing their line out which is statistically the best in the urc and they've won that one and now the forwards look to do some damage and they've got men over here and rolling for the line and getting the touchdown Giovanni Pettinelli with the try an Italian debut against Argentina this month Paul Forbes involved in that passage of play great look forward to Harley it's been spotted as well the kick taken by McLean who desperately searches out open field Fine. Use it now, it's at the back. scrum is solid, it's there for Halafi and spotting the gap almost through so he looks like he's, he's trying to react to what's in front of him just gets it slightly wrong on that occasion and still nearly does well out of it. Glasgow have been doing a whole lot of defending, but now a chance 
to go on the attack. Driving over is Rory Dodge. The second score for the Warriors to tie things up. And Rory Dodge is there. From the line out drive, there was no stopping Glasgow. There was no kind of let's get our structure, let's get our formation off this mall, let's just go straight away, route one, really quick, high tempo. And gets it down, no doubt there. Ross Thompson, he struck that one well, and Glasgow will go into a two point lead with Horn with the short one. And to Turner now. That's exactly what they'd just been warned about. And there is the yellow card, Benetton down to 14 men for the next 10 minutes. Horn to Thompson and then Johnson. Thompson did well to hang on to it, looked like he'd just slightly juggled it at first. And Richie Gray sent backwards. It all comes down to one strike of the 19-year-old's boot. It's Leonardo Marine. There is a huge roar goes up. Benetton have won it. A cool head on young shoulders. The hero of the day is Leonardo Marine once again repeating his feat. Oh, unbelievable. For a 19 year old, that's incredible. To have been in the middle of that huddle, the celebrations, the congratulations, the pat on the back. 19 years old having missed from the, the same spot five minutes earlier, and then stepping up, showing the maturity and the ability to put it through. What a great moment for that young fella.